Hello Internet! Welcome back to my channel. So I decided today was gonna be a two-for-one kind of day. I filmed a thing and now I'm gonna film another thing, but it's a very important, very, very momentous occasion. So I am going to do an unboxing, which I have not done in a good long time, but it is time. So I was able to snag some things from one of my favorite indie bath, actually she is my favorite indie bath maker, what am I even talking about? She is my favorite. Um, one of my favorite indie bath shops, my favorite indie bath shop, I'm terrible at talking guys, it's been a long week, it is Thursday when I am recording this video, and it feels like this week has just been forever long, I don't know why, I would like it to stop now, oh dear god, okay, oh, okay, that's why. Holy shit. I'm over here like, why is this so difficult to open? It's because it's different. Anyway, so, yeah, please don't uh, try this at home. So, the shop is called Violet and Suds. I love them. They are fantastic. Um, the woman who runs it, the lovely human, her name is Amethyst, and she's just an absolute sweet baby angel, and I adore her. And again, like, she's one of those that everything she touches is gold. So. We'll get to that later. It's not littering if it's your own house, right? Okay. So. Oh my goodness, I love her. Okay. So, she included a cute little, little card. I love it. Her business card, which is beautiful. And then this is her logo on the other side. I will include the link and the um inst her I will include the link to her shop and also her Instagram handle in the description box below. That way you guys can go follow her. Um she does do bath and beauty, and then she also does uh she does art, which is fantastic, and she also does raw crystals, so that's exciting. I got the candy cane. It looks like it broke in transit, but that is totally fine. I love it anyway. Oh my goodness. And then she included another lovely little card and another business card so that I can give this to people. Oh, I love her. She always packages everything so beautifully. Like, here is the package. It is gorgeous. There's extra nonsense in here. I'm so excited about it. Okay. So what do we got? Okay. <clears throat> so this is the Opal Geode Bath Bomb. It is scented in cinnamon. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I think I might have bronchitis. I thought I was over it. But um, as you can clearly tell by my hacking noises, I'm not. So, this is the Opal Geode Bath Bomb little mini thingy mabobber. And these things are great. Like, she includes extras in every order, which is fantastic. But this teeny little little thing is going to sit there and make your entire bath smell good. Like, it's great to use an entire whole bath bomb, but you don't have to because these exist. So, I get to sniff it. Ooh, it smells like candles. Like, it is, it is cinnamon pecan waffles, and it smells just like, God, what is it? Do not breathe too hard into the bath dust. The bath dust will go places. I can't, it smells like a very specific thing, and I cannot for the life of me think about what it is right now. I, if I figure it out, we'll get back to that. <laughs> so, I did order the redwood yule log bath bomb which is this sweet little baby here and like look how well this is packaged like what oh my goodness okay please get out of the packaging though i want to snap you oh my goodness look how cute it is and this is ooh, enchanted with vanilla oak oh my god and it smells so good like they always do but this is beautiful it's a very, like, woody scent, but, like, it's sweet. Like, 
oh it's just good it's real good i like this a lot actually like look how pretty it is i'm so excited for I like i was like i have to film this video today because i'm gonna do an unboxing video and i want to take a bath so here we are oh my gosh ah, okay this one this is one that i've been super excited about this is the oreo chata waffle bomb her freaking waffle bombs are so good and like oh my Ooh, <laughs> it's so nice. So it is Oreo Chata is scented with a rich, spicy blend of cinnamon, vanilla, vanilla cream, shea butter, Oreo. Ooh, and it's so nice. And look at how cute it is. I will post videos of the bath art that these beautiful things make when I am taking the bath. This is so pretty. And it's just like, it's huge. Like this is freaking huge. It is, I believe that this is like $10. I could be wrong. I will confirm that and get back to you. But like, it's huge. You could break this thing into two and take two baths with it. Because really, you don't need the whole thing. But use the whole thing because it's worth it. Okay. Sorry, I'm having a moment, y'all. Okay. So what are you? You are... So I got the Gingerbread Forest gift set, and I am this little thing. Oh my goodness. Oh no, her head broke. That's okay though. Ooh, it'll just make it easier for me to like use two, two. Okay, so Ginger Snap Bath Bomb and it's Ginger Nut Bank and Cinnamon blend together with vanilla for a perfect holiday morning treat, and it it is, yes. And look at how cute it is. I, I love it. I love it so much. I almost feel bad that I'm going to like stick it in my bath and it's going to die, but I don't feel that bad. <laughs> okay, more bubble wrap and it's the good bubble wrap. Like I understand it's probably more environmentally conscious for people to use like that like weird, but this is just so much more fun. Anyway, sorry, tangent over. Oh yay! I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about all of it, but this is exciting because this is an extra and I am excited because I thought about buying this one. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't and she is an angel baby from heaven and sent it anyway. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the Bone Daddy Bath Bomb and is Jack Skellington's head. <laughs> and... It smells like heavy smoke, toasted marshmallow, and cedarwood embers. And it does smell like all of those things, but it's not overbearing in any way. Like, everything just mixes together beautifully, and it's just... I wish smell vision was a thing, because you guys would appreciate the fuck out of this. Because it's so good. And it's so cute! I love my best friend, and I might end up giving her this one because Jack is her favorite, but man, it's so cute and it smells so good. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> She'll know. It's fine. Alright. Ooh, okay. So this is the Tea and Cakes. Um, this is the bath frosting, I believe. Yeah, bath frosting. Ooh, ooh, that's lovely. Okay, this is good. Good, good, good. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So I also, the biggest thing was I ordered, um, I ordered these little gift sets. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Holy schnizbits and heavens. She put them all into this beautiful tin. Look how cute this tin is, guys. It's so freaking, ah, oh, it's so stinking cute. Look at this. Okay. So what are you? What are this? Okay, so this is the Burmese Rosewood Bubble Bar. Yeah, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm being an asshole and not showing you guys. So this is what the thing looks like. It's got ten little cute uh, crinkly bits. So this is the Burmese Rosewood Bubble Bar. Enchanted with an exotically warm blend of cedar, patchouli, amber, and musk on a base of passion fruit rose. Ordinarily, this is not a combination that I would love, but I actually really like it. I'm not a big fan of rose, but this is, the way that it's blended is just good. Like all of her stuff, her scent blends are always just beautiful. And then that is what it looks like. 
You only need a little bit. Oh no, my sweet baby angel, it broke. Oh goodness, okay, this is the Blackberry Bramble Tea Bubble Bar. And she broke in transit, but that is fine. We will still love her. She's very purple. Yeah. Mm, and it smells really nice too. It is blackberries and autumn fruits blend perfectly with southern sweet tea and a touch of cinnamon brown sugar. I like that. I don't understand how she manages to sit there and make these things that you don't necessarily think are going to go together always work. Like she had a, she's this grass cat um, thing and it's like grass and daisy chain and I was like, this is going to smell like lawn clippings. It does not smell like lawn clippings. It smells the furthest thing from lawn clippings. It is so beautiful and it turns your bath like this amazing bog water color, which for some people might not be like an appealing thing, but I am a swamp witch and that is just how I live my life. And it's this beautiful green and it's shimmery and anything with sparkles makes my heart leap with joy. I think that this is the cinnamon pecan waffle bomb. Yeah, yeah it is. And we are a little bit crumbly, but that's because my post people are disrespectful. They are just, they are disrespectful. What is this? I am confused. Oh dear God. Oh, oh, this is so lovely. Oh my goodness. I was trying to figure out what this was. And she sent this adorable little crystal. I love it. Look at how cute it is. And it's so pretty. Thank you. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh my god. There's more shiny things in the box. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Look how pretty that geode is. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm sorry. I'm about to cry like a freaking baby over here. And then this is the Tea and Cakes Bath Bomb. It's a little donut. Like, it's so cute. It's a little donut. And it smells super good. Mm. Yeah. This is beautiful. And it is steeping white tea and caramel cakes. But, yeah. It's beautiful. Um, everything in this order was $63. Which is not bad, especially considering everything is vegan, is amazing quality, you'll get the most beautiful bath art out of it, and Amethyst is absolutely just the sweetest human being. I love it. I love everything. Everything is fantastic, and I'm so excited to go take a bath. Um, but yeah, you guys can follow her on the Instagram. Um, the Instagram. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. What in the hell? Okay. The Instagram. Shit. You can just Google or you can just like look up Violet and Suds on Instagram and um, you will be able to find her. But I will also include her um, information for her Instagram and her website in the description box for today's video. It is amazing. And then in addition to everything being vegan and beautiful and just so well done, um, she does donate 10% of her monthly profit to Tiny Paws Kitten Shelter, which makes my heart really happy because I love all of the fur babies and not fur babies like nope noodles are sometimes cute but yeah like honestly she's just she's a beautiful gem of a human being and I am very grateful that I managed to stumble upon her on the internet I don't know how I don't know why but it just happened and I love her so yeah anyway support small businesses guys like you make these amazing beautiful friendships with people that you never would have met otherwise and it just takes like just writing the person who makes your stuff and just like saying thank you that you appreciate or that you really love what they've done and you can get these amazing friendships out of it and it's just awesome like I have not been active like I should be on Instagram or YouTube or any of that shit but she is just still like nothing ever happened you know like I she's she's great and I've honestly met so many makers like that where they're just they're beautiful human beings who 
really appreciate what you're doing because, you know, like you are, by supporting a small brand, you are f helping them feed their families or their fur babies and themselves. And they're giving, you're giving them the ability to continue to make beautiful art and do the things that they love to do. Every time you make a purchase from a small business, you are giving them that little bit of a boost. Like, hey, somebody really loves what I'm doing. And that's so important. Like supporting people instead of corporations is is great and honestly like I haven't purchased from Lush in such a long time because I would rather my money go to to Amethyst and her cats and she's got the cutest like her cat she got her cat in the most crazy way and she has a story up on her Instagram and it's the best thing ever and just knowing that like you're making like her life better you're being able to by default making her cat's life better you know like I have a little sign somewhere in this office I don't know where the hell I put it but it says I work hard so my cats can have a better life and like she definitely seems like that kind of a person and I mean she donates 10% of her profit to an animal shelter to be able to give cats a better life so by working with small businesses, by, you know, purchasing from small businesses, you are making an impact in a real person's life. And that's just really cool to be able to do. So yeah, anyway, before I start crying, because all of this is beautiful and I'm a little bit overwhelmed, um, thank you, Amethyst. Everything is absolutely beautiful. Please go check out Violet and Suds on Instagram and go check out her shop. She is fantastic and she's always coming out with new and crazy things. Uh, she does like these big boxes every now and again. Uh, like last year she did a Emperor's New Groove themed box, which was the best. Well, actually it had... Fish, why are you like this? <laughs> My cat is obnoxious. Like, look at him. Like, why are you like this, my dude? Anyway, so enough about my cat being freaking weird. Um, please go check out, you know, go check her out. Buy things. Stink pretty. It's great. Anyway, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Share with your friends, share with your enemies, share with your frenemies. As long as you share, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, and just a reminder, we are coming out of the holiday season and it is still kind of hard out there, you know, being a human. So be gentle with yourself. Eat something. Nutrient rich is preferred. But anything that will make you happy is fine. Um, take your meds. If you can't make the happy, healthy chemicals on your own, store-bought is totally fine. Drink some water. You are not a cactus. I promise you're not a cactus. Anyway, so, yeah. As always, folks, do no harm. Take no shit. Love yourselves. Bye.